the referee. The ball game is over. The ball game has been called off with 41 seconds left to go. And you can see what's happening now. And the Ottawa Rough Riders win their first Grey Cup championship since 1951 by beating the Edmonton Eskimos by 16 points to 6. Knocked away by Joe Collier. The gun sound. The game is all over. But what a football game as the Ottawa Rough Riders come through and win it. And it's all over. The Ottawa Rough Riders have retained the Grey Cup for the second consecutive year. Defeating the Saskatchewan Rough Riders 29 to 11. Well, here's the Grey Cup presentation to Russ Jackson, the quarterback who runs it all in storybook style. Winning a Grey Cup in his final game, his final season out of 12 in the Canadian Football League. Dropped on the 21, the ball game is over, and the Hamilton Tiger Cats win the Grey Cup. The final score, Hamilton 21, the British Columbia Lions 10. Well, the Hamilton Pie Cats have won the Grey Cup for 1963, and down in that circle of people on the field... And that could about end it. It does. The game is over. The gun sounds. This could be the last play. Seven seconds left. And they give to George Reed, who has stopped at the line of scrimmage, and the mob is on the field. And 25 years after their last cup, it's a silver anniversary celebration for the Montreal Alouettes Grey Cup champions 2002. Ball down, ball through, and the Montreal Alouettes have come all the way back, and they are the 2009 Grey Cup champions. Eight appearances in the past 11 seasons. Final snap, encore, Alouettes, back-to-back, -back. Grey Cup titles, the first since the Argos in 96 and 97. Mock shows no time left, but the minute flag is still up. It's all over. Final score, we're take 35, Hamilton 28. Stay with us by all means. The 15-yard line, the fans break away from the police and come out of the field as the gun sounds to end the ball game. And your Grey Cup champions of 1959 defending successfully as they make it two wins out of three over the Ticats in their three years running battle are the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. The plane just lies down on the ball. The gun sounds. The 61 Grey Cup champions are the Winnipeg Blue Bombers who this afternoon here in Toronto beat the Hamilton Ticats in overtime. Seems to me this game is over, but there's no gun. We should get an answer here in a moment. There's the gun. It's all over. And the Winnipeg Blue Bombers have defeated the Hamilton Tiger Cats by a score of 28 to 27. The ball goes loose. There is the gun. The game is over. The final score of this Grey Cup game from Varsity Stadium, Toronto, is the Edmonton Eskimos. 26, Montreal Alouettes, 25. There is the gun, and the ball game is over, and the West is just going plain crazy here at Empire Stadium in Vancouver. The final score, the Edmonton Eskimos, 34, the Montreal Alouettes, 19. Of 18 pieces of pigskin. The ball game is over, ladies and gentlemen. The officials have decided to let the conversion go. And referee Harry Bowden gave the no conversion signal. So as the fans just inundate the field, as you can see, the final score is this. The Edmonton Eskimos winning the Grey Cup for the third consecutive year. And gee, their fans will just about tear Toronto apart tonight. Edmonton beat Montreal 51 to 27. <laughs> Time has run out. The crowd now standing and cheering the Eskimos. One final play to make it official. Early motion by the Alouettes. The flag is thrown. And some pushing and shoving going on down there. But 
The crowd control is broken down. There are spectators all over the field now. And I'd be very surprised if they asked Wilkie to ground the ball a third time. Taking place in front of the North Grandstand to the quarterback, Tom Wilkinson, by the commissioner of the CFL, Jacob Orr, of the Grey Cup for 1978. He's all wrapped up, and so is the Grey Cup for the Edmonton Eskimos. Two in a row for Campbell's Eskimos. And Kepley, Tom Wilkinson, sharing it right now. Officials may be forced just to blow it down and uh, complete the game here. Don Barker. Well, Don Barker has to make a decision now, and I think yeah, he's, he's going to do it right now, and I think that's, that's a good right idea. Thing. You bet. Who needs it? There's the gun. These folks can run around now for the next two hours and not bother anybody, but the Great Cup of 1980 is Edmonton. Is there with the commissioner, and the Great Cup belongs to Edmonton. But he well, he pitches it off to Stokeland. Oh, that's Stokeland right down. Right down to the end, boy. At the 50-yard line, and that is the ball game. And the Edmonton Eskimos add another page to the CFL record book. The first team to ever win four consecutive break -ups. That almost certainly will be the final score as Moon lets those seconds tick away. And the game is over. The Edmonton Eskimos have attempted and have accomplished an amazing comeback in 1982 as they hoist a happy Hugh Campbell onto their shoulders. They were... David Boone with the acceptance speech on behalf of the Edmonton Eskimos, the 1982 Grey Cup champion.